Okay, now let us start with the case one A. Very, I told you that we wanted to consider the case very. A plane surface or a lamina is perpendicular to both HP as well as VP. Now says the lamina is perpendicular to both HP and VP. It should be like this. I need to hold it in this way. So if I hold it like this, we can see that this particular lamina is not only perpendicular to VP, it is also perpendicular to HP. Now I need to start, always remember, wherever I need to start this particular problem, any problem, I need to start in that particular view, where there is a true shape and size of the lamina. Okay, now as you can see in this particular case, if I hold the lamina like this, where do you see the true shape and size of the lamina? This is front view, this is top view, and if I view from the side, that is, if I view from the side means, I am going to consider the third plane, that is profile plane. So, if I want to see from the side view, I can see the shape. So, I can conclude that, if I want to start this particular problem, where the lamina is for both HP and VP, the true shape and size of this particular lamina is seen in side view. I need to start from side view. Okay. Now, again remember, since already I have given you the concept of profile view, you should remember, especially in first quadrant problems, that is in first angle projection, wherever I want to draw the view onto my right side, that means I am projecting onto the right profile plane, but that particular view is your left side view, remember. Similarly, if I want to project it onto my LPP, that means I want to draw this side view onto the left side of your top and front view. So, whenever you do in that particular way, then I want to view or the view has to be viewed from here. Why? Generally, I show like that because always remember, in first quadrant problems, always your object should be in between observer and the plane. Okay, so if I want to project it onto LPP, I have to view like this. So, if you say that, the view which you are going to get on left side will be your right side view. But anyway, since nothing is mentioned, generally we will not mention that. So either you can start drawing the left side view or right side view. But anyway, in this particular case, as you can see, since the lamina is per both HP and VP, and how that view will be seen here? If a view like this should be seen as a line, similarly as a view from the top, there are not seen as a line. That means in both top and front view, the projections will be seen as lines. And those lines will be perpendicular to x, y line. Whereas the true shape and size will be seen in side view. So I can conclude that I need to start from side view. Okay, now let us illustrate this with an example. Okay, let us take this problem. Let us say we have a square lamina of 70 mm size is perpendicular to both HP as well as VP. Then the center of the lamina is 70 mm above HP and 80 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections. Okay, now as just now I told you, since the lamina is popular to both HP and VP, true shape and size of this particular lamina will be seen in side view. I need to start from side view. Okay, now I decided I should need to start from side view. So then what I do then? I will draw this XY line as usual. XY line is for uh, your uh, top and front view. Now, since I wanted to draw the side view, I need to draw the other line perpendicular to XY, this is X1, Y1 line. That is, I want to project it onto my, let us say, right profile plane. Okay, so I am going to get this line. This line will be, let us say, X1, Y1. Intersection is O. Now, I know that I need to start from side view. How do you start side view? See, that is important. I need to give that now. See, anyway, I told you that I need to start from side view. How do you start the side view? See, as I, can, as I have seen this particular figure, either I can hold it like this, or I can hold it like this. To that we say that, I can hold this particular lamina, which is proper to both HP and VP in hundreds of positions. Okay? But I have given one data here. What is the data given? The center of the lamina is 70 mm above HP and 80 mm in front of VP. I have just given the center there. Now, since I have given this center, Again, you can see this, I just given that this particular center is 70 mm above HP and then 80 mm in front of VP. But still, as you can see, I can rotate in any way. That will say that in this particular what I have given, I need to give 
few more details. What is the detail I need to give? That to say that, <coughs> sorry, since I have hold it like this, this particular lamina, either I can hold it like this or I can hold it like this. That means what? To say that, I need to give one more detail about one of the sides. So now I will also say that one of the sides is inclined at 45 degree change point VP or I can say that two adjacent sides make equal inclinations with HP as well as VP. So I will hold it this way. Is it okay? Now, if I want to hold it in this way means what? If I want to hold it like this means I need to mention in the problem that even though this particular center is 70 mm above and 80 mm in front, one of the sides or I can say the side nearer to HP is parallel to HP or I can say the side, this particular side is parallel to HP. So I need to give one more statement. Is it okay? So let us say that in this particular problem, I want to give such that it makes equal inclinations. That means I will give that this particular two adjacent sides make equal inclination with HP as well as VP. If that is the case, I need to draw the I need to draw the true shape and size in the side view. Okay, so let us do that. Okay, now I have just written the square and as given in the problem, the square of side 70 mm. So that we say that this particular side should be equal to 70 mm. Then I have given the center of the lamina is 70 mm above HP. You say that is a center and that is a center is O. So this I have taken as 70 mm and it is 80 mm in front of VP. So that we say that this particular distance I have taken as 80 mm. Now since I have given these dimensions, now since you wanted to do this drawing on a drawing sheet, what you do is first draw this particular square. 70 mm square okay after drawing this particular square you will locate the center after locating the center you take this distance as 70 then draw this x y line then take this as 80 then draw x on the one line because if once you draw this then to arrange this it is a problem for you because you can draw the square but once you know the center from the center only i should have 80 mm now because remember, in the scenario, OX1 represents VP and OY represents HP. So as you can see, I have just written the side view. Now I need to name them. Let us say, I will start naming it. So remember, so what is the naming I should give? Since it is the side view, I should again write everything in small letters but with double dashes. Okay, so I will write A double dash, B double dash, C double dash and D double dash. So, Side view is over. Now I need to draw the corresponding top view in front view. Okay, what about the corresponding top view in front view? As I told you, since the lamina is perpendicular to one of the planes or both the planes, it should be seen as lines there. And always we remember the front view will be in line with front view. I mean, front view is in line with side view. Whereas to draw the top view, I should need to transfer this VP distance. So what do you do then? I will draw this 40 degrees line. Okay. So let me draw this projectors. So I just draw the projectors. Similarly here also I can draw this 40 degrees line. Then I need to transfer these distances also. So to transfer what do you do then? I will draw these projectors. I have drawn this projectors. Remember, all the projectors should be as late as possible. Now the next question is, where do you show that front view? Where do you show that front view? Here, 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 where? Since nothing is mentioned. Generally, if I mention that this particular lamina is at a distance of, let us say, some 30 or 50 mm from RPP, if I mention that, then what you do then? If I say that particular distance is 50 mm, then you would have taken 50 mm from this x1 by 1, then I would have got the your front view and top view. Now since nothing is mentioned here, since nothing is mentioned, I can place this 
front view and top view which are perpendicular lines at convenient distance from x1, y1. Okay, let us have to indicate here. Okay, so I have just written this. This is the front view. This is the top view. Now again I need to name them now. Okay, now if I want to name this figure, which is the reference figure for me? All exchange with an orthodox projection, always the observer should be perpendicular to the plane. Okay, now anyway, to draw this numbering or to name them, the reference figure is this figure. That is your side view. So this is the side view. And where is the observer to be? Remember, OX1 represents VP. And this is the object or the plane. Where is the observer? Here. Observer will look like this, then they will indicate here. Because it is a person projection. Now, okay, now if the view here, this is A double dash. So then what should be this? This should be A dash. Similarly, for the observer, B dash and D dash, I am going to get here itself now. Both B dash, D dash here only. But which point you can see here? For the observer, because I hold it in this way now. I hold it like this. If I hold it like this, as you can see, I can see only the point which is nearer to the observer. That is B. Now since I can see B, B should be a visible point. What about D dash? It is away from the observer. It should be in brackets. Okay, now finally C dash. But anyway, remember the corresponding point should be in line because we know that front view and side view projector should be in line with one another. Okay, now similarly I need to draw the corresponding top. But anyway, we know that a dash A, everything should come on this line only. But again, if I want to name them, same analogy. Where is the observer? Where is the plane? This is a plane. Because HP now, because in a top view. This is O by is your top, I mean HP. Object. Where is the observer? I should go like this. If I view like this, what are the points I can see? I can see D, A, P. Whereas I cannot see C. Similarly, D is here. So what is this point there? This is the D projector. D projector. So this should be simply D. Again, A and C. So this should be A. And what about C? C should be in brackets. Similarly, the point is D. Now as you can see, I have just mentioned all the three views. So as you can see in this particular final figure, lamina is Perpendicular to both HP and VP. Since the lamina is from both HP and VP, it should be seen as lines. That is, both front view and top view, they are seen as lines. But since it is perpendicular to both HP and VP, it should be parallel to PP profile plane. That means say that in the side view, we see the true shape and size. That is the reason I have started from side view. Okay, so as again I am going to just tell you, since I have mentioned this position as 70 mm and 80 mm, first I will draw this. Then I am going to measure distances. But one missing statement in this problem is what the missing I said? Because I have not given whether this particular lamina is equally inclined or not. But I have considered, assumed that this particular lamina is equally inclined. Instead of that, I would have also said that one of the sides is parallel to HP or perpendicular to VP. Then I would have written in the other way. So remember, whenever I wanted to draw from a particular view, I should know the details how to draw the orientation. So without that, because if I don't give that particular uh, statement, any student can draw anywhere. Say one of the students can take equal inclination, another student can take some inclination, another student can take parallel to one of the planes, etc. etc. So that I am going to get hundreds of solutions. So if I want to freeze the solution or if I want to get a unique solution, when you get the unique solution, if I want to get the unique solution, then I need to give the details of one of the sides with reference to HP or VP. Because since you are starting from side view, remember, if I, since I am starting from side view, we know both HP and VP details. So I can say with reference to one of the sides, either I can say it is parallel to HP, I can say, or I can say it is inclined to VP also, I can say. That means that I can give either H2 or VP details here. That is the side view. But remember, if I want to come to the top and front view, remember in the front view, we know only HP details. And whereas in the top view, we know only VP details. Thank you.